Okay, so the second section, after you've got your master page in and you've right clicked and you've inserted your pages, so you've got a set of pages, is to make a front cover. Now this is going to be a four page magazine at minimum, we might you can have more pages. So what we want to do is, we want to start maybe by making a front cover, a nice cover at the front that's going to really attract people. Now on my other pages I want a bit that says St Olives there, I want this nice style, but I, my front cover, and if, if you look at the magazines we've looked at and what we've discussed, you will notice this as well. I don't want the same background, I want something completely different from my front cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on that page and where it says master pages, I've got master page A which is the one I've created and then there's none, so I'm going to click it as none. So let's right click, master pages, none. So I've now got no master page and I've got my proper master pages. So now I can make my um, front cover on this one and I can do what I want. I could have maybe a different colour background by going to page design, backgrounds. Uh, so I might have two colours. Let's, let's have a really striking red and orange. Quite like that diagonal background. So this is a, this is just my really striking front cover. Uh, I can put some writing in. So I'm going to insert. Now I I might put word art in. Now I'm not a massive fan of word art, but it's quite good for a really funky title. So let's have something that's going to stand out. So I think this blue is going to stand out nicely. So I'm going to call it. Um, I'm calling mine the olive tree. That's what I'm calling my magazine. I've got it there. Um, I can add my effects to it here. Okay, so I can actually change the fill colors if I want to. So I could keep my light blue sort of color. My outline I might have as yellow. Um, I'm going to change the size. If I double, if I sorry, if I go to edit text at the top left hand side, I can change the size to something bigger. So let's go. That's quite a big, 96. Let's go 60. And there it is. I can also drag it if I want it bigger to a different size. Okay. Um, I might want a nice picture in there. So I'm going to keep my picture that I got from before, my St Olives logo. So I'm going to copy that image. I'm going to paste that on. Um, and I'll put something funky on there. And then I might get some other pictures or something else. So I've got others. When I look for St. Olives, I've got other pictures of uh, St. Olives on here. So I might just pick just another St. Olives picture. Um, that's a nice picture of some people at St. Olives. Uh, it must have been some time ago because I don't know who they are. It's the 2014 rowers in fact. Um, but I'm going to paste that on as well. That's quite a big picture so I'll have to drag it smaller. Okay I might do something funky with that as well. Um, and then I'm just going to insert some more shapes on mine. I mean, you can do whatever you want on yours. Let's have, I quite like this shape here. This is like sort of a, what they call a cool out shape. So I'm going to put one there. Copy that. I'm going to put one here. Uh, this one I'm going to fill it with that color. I'm going to have my outline darker. This one I might choose a different color maybe a green with a darker green outline and then on these shapes I can right click and I can add text so I'm gonna put my text in the center if you go to the drawing tool sorry format text tool you can change exactly where you want the text I'm gonna make it a bit bigger and I'm gonna put issue one in that one in this one I'm gonna do the same thing again right click add text I'm gonna go to format under text put it in the center let's, let's Make it a bit bigger, and I'm going to call it. I'm 
going to say uh, November 2016. Not November wrong. Also, that's if it if it when you're writing it disappears and has the red box. It means the writing's too big for the shape. So I'm going to pull that up there. And that is a really it's a really basic front cover. You might want to do more funky things with you, but there's a front cover issue one November 2016. I've got my name. I've got some pictures, and it's starting to look nice. So have a go at that. Um, right-clicking and changing the master page to none on your first page and making yourself a front cover.